I need something to do a video about today. Oh, that won't be it. No! We still have this thing! This is the 64 core computer. And after all the testing we did on it, we never actually gamed on it. Can you run games on a 64 core CPU that was built for science? We're gonna find out for science. So if you think about it, one eternity later, maybe this idea isn't that crazy, you know, gaming on a 64 core CPU, because believe it or not, the CPU that's in here is actually fundamentally the same thing as that Intel graphics card prototype that we did like an unboxing and history lesson of a little while ago. Except that instead of being on a PCI Express card, they've got like a whole motherboard and like CPU socket and like exterior memory slots kind of thing going on for it. So first things first, we've got to get this puppy somewhat reassembled. There's a hard drive in here for some reason. Uh, we've also got to put some more RAM in. We need to make sure we are running it at its optimal six channels of memory. We need to chuck a boot SSD in here. So if I pull out all of these ancient technology hard drive cages, you can kind of see where we jammed that in. And then last but not least, we are going to need a graphics card because unfortunately the software development that would have made Larrabee a general purpose processor that could run DirectX code um, was never completed. So we're gonna start with a GTX 1060, like a, a high mid-range card, just to see if this is feasible at all before we move on to something a little bit beefier and investigate how much, if any, bottlenecking occurs. Because what you guys gotta understand about gaming on a you know heavily threaded multi-core chip is that most games at best are running with like four processing threads. And even in those cases, it's primarily single or maybe dual threaded with the other cores doing like little supplementary work. You know, I had actually been meaning to do this video as a precursor to the like proper review, like as like a teaser, like goofing around with it first and then doing the proper video. So yeah, best laid plans of mice and men. And no comments on which one I am. All right, so trick number one is that we have to run Windows Server rather than regular Windows 10. And the reason for that is that otherwise, all 256 of our logical cores will not get recognized. Like, look at this. What? It can't even. It just, it actually can't even. They're just all percent signs. Brilliant. It's like beyond dumb. But anyway, that's not a problem because as we demonstrated in this video, there's no difference in performance between the different editions of Windows. They're all based on the same kernel, so it just comes down to the feature set. So all our hardware is detected. We've got the same GeForce drivers that we would on the desktop. And it is time to fire up. Let's go, let's start with, let's start with CSGO. Is it just me or is this Steam update taking a little longer than usual? You didn't install Chrome on this thing? Dang it. This thing is taking forever. And like the stupid thing is that it shows only 1.9% CPU usage, but like, but, but think about that. Of 256 threads, each 1% would be only two of them, which would be half of one CPU core? Am I getting this right? Ish? So, so does that just mean it's single threaded and it's relying on one of our 64 cores? Because you got to understand, not all cores are created equally. And these ones are not high performance. We've got Chrome now though. I mean, I clicked play a little while ago, but uh, 
Maybe it didn't take? Oh, maybe it legitimately didn't take, okay. There we go, this isn't so bad. Uh, okay, there we go. And remember friends, this is launching on an SSD. Imagine it with a hard drive. Hey! All right. Let's pwn some noobs. Oh, wow. Okay, no, no, there we go. Hey, there we go. All right, so we're not gonna ask too much from this thing. We're just gonna run it at 1080. I mean, the good news is that uh, running that local game server could be offloaded to another core. Yeah. How long does it take to connect to a server that is running on the same box? Oh, wow. Oh, wow there, bud. Oh, boy. Uh, oh. Um, it's like, oh, no way! Bob Paul, you suck! Oh, bot Chris is a little better. Okay, okay, let's get, let's get, let's get an, our AK game on here. Oh, I see baddies. Oh, oh, but, oh, get, 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 get out of the way, Sean! Oh, look at the way those smoke effects just destroy me. Oh, I got two! I am better like this than I am with a proper computer. No! Oh, and I'm down. Oh. Dang! Maybe we can move some of that load off the CPU? I think you're messing with me right now. In its defense, this is the lowest end Xeon 5 from this generation. But it is still an $1,800 processor. Let's try Deus Ex Mankind Divided. I clicked that already, by the way. <laughs> Ouch. Anthony, I'm not going to bother putting the Titan V in this thing. Really? Yeah, really. This is ridiculous. But I had to go through it. Yeah, well, I'm sorry, man, but I'm... This isn't even running in real time anymore. Like this benchmark, this run is actually gonna take longer. Like the physics of the game are broken. Probably why you're doing so well in CS2. Wow. <laughs> oh! 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 <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I think this may be one of the most exceptional bottlenecks that I have ever ever seen which come to think of it would actually be a very interesting video we should give that some thought remarkably we're managing to get screen tearing that's pretty cool well i think those numbers basically say everything there is to say minimum of 0.5 frames per second ouch all right let it never be said that I'm not a sucker for punishment. One more game. Let's play Fortnite on this sucker. Like, do you think I could just take a nap on this table? Like, oh, oh. Let me know when the uh, loading bar reaches the top of my head. You know how they say a watched pot never boils? I've got a new expression for them. This computer never loads anything. I don't know if it's gonna catch on. Oh no! Oh no! No, no, no! Oh no. Okay, wait. No, I have no time to talk about your new update stuff. What? No, remind me later. What was that? Uh. Boom! Let's do it! Uh, yeah, I already. Yeah, okay. Play! People like me are the reason that you need that loading area for a minute before the match starts. Oh, yeah, look at this. The bus launched 
10 seconds after I got into the game. If I was any slower, I would miss the bus. Wow, it's really interesting seeing an online game try to struggle with how slow the system is because when you're playing online, you don't have the option of just slowing down the physics of the game. So I would be curious to know if I am teleporting all over the friggin' place. <laughs> Four FPS. Okay, so the point of these processors obviously isn't gaming and they're expensive because what they're useful for is scientific workloads like uh, TensorFlow or neural networking, for example. And actually, in most cases, these processors do end up getting installed in PCI Express cards like our Larrabee prototype, except without any display outputs because they're not intended to be used for any kind of graphics application, especially not like gaming directly off it as a card. But this was definitely a fun experiment in showing just how bad your experience can be with expensive hardware if it's not the right kind and it's not optimized for the workload that you are trying to perform. Now to be clear, not every Xeon is bad for gaming. This is a common misconception, oh it's a Xeon, it's bad for gaming. It comes down to the architecture of the chip. This is a Xeon Phi. This is fundamentally different from a normal Xeon, which is usually pretty similar to a Core i7 or a Core i9, just with fancy ECC memory support. So thanks for watching, guys. If you disliked this video, you can hit that button. But if you liked it, hit like, get subscribed, maybe consider checking out where to buy the stuff we featured at the link in the video description. Also down there is our merch shorts, has cool shirts like this one, and our community forum, which you should totally join.